Hi, this is Halal. In this video on Mathematical Economic Series, we will try to solve a numerical on finding the tax revenue and the impact of the per unit tax on demand and supply. Okay, the question is like this. Suppose the demand for burgers uh, is given by that is Q is equal to 286 minus 20P. Q is the quantity demanded and P is the price. And the supply is given uh, similarly that is Q is equal to 88 uh, plus 40P. If the government imposes a per unit tax of uh, rupees uh, 1.05, what is the new equilibrium price and the tax revenue? So we have to find the new equilibrium price and tax revenue. For that, what will we do? We will find the old equilibrium price and uh, quantity first. Okay, the first step would be finding the old equilibrium. That is, we are given the quantity. Uh, demand function is like this. 286 minus 20p this is our demand function and new demand uh, that is the supply function is given as 88 plus 40p okay this is our demand function this is our supply function and we know the equilibrium occurs at the intersection of the demand and supply okay that means we will equate demand uh, with supply that that is to say uh, equilibrium requires that our demand should be equal to supply so this is demand function this is supply function we will equate these two that's 286 minus 20p should be equal to our supply that is 88 uh, plus 40p now solving this this will become 286 transposing this 88 this will become negative 88 is equal to 40p and we will transpose this negative uh, 20 to RHS this will become positive 20p okay now 286 minus 88 it comes out to be and this comes out to be 198 so we have 198 is equal to 40 plus 20 is equal to 60p 60p which implies our p is equal to 198 divided by 60 which comes out to be 3.3 this is our equilibrium price that is p is equal to 3.3 .3. now what is the quantity uh, demanded at this price we will just insert this value uh, p is equal to 3.3 .3, either in demand or supply function so we will put this in demand function to get the equilibrium quantity that is q is equal to 286 minus 20 times the value of p which we got 3.3 3 which comes out to be when solving uh, this comes out to be so we have 286 286 I will write here 286 minus uh, 20 into 3.3 uh, it comes out to be 220 I have calculated it earlier so our Q is equal to 220 this is our old equilibrium price and quantity okay now uh, what will happen if the government imposes a per unit tax of 1.05 rupees so by imposing 1.05 as the per unit tax our uh, supply curve will shift that means our supply curve will change okay for that what will we do first First, uh, we will change these two uh, demand functions into inverse demand functions, okay, to see the impact of this 1.05. This is our original demand function, writing inverse demand function is solving for P. So, we will solve this for P. Here we can see, uh, if we solve this for P, it will come out, uh, I will write here. So, this will become uh, 20 P is equal to 2 86 minus q i have just transposed uh, the terms or our p is equal to 286 minus q divided by 20 or p is equal to 286 divided by 20 minus q divided by 20 which comes out to be p is equal to 286 divided by 20 comes out to be 14.3 minus now 1 divided by 20 is 0 0.05 q this is our inverse demand function similarly we will find the inverse supply function 
our inverse supply function is that is we have to solve this very supply function for p okay so i will write here here i will write rather so this is simply we transpose this uh, 88 on the left hand side this will become minus 88 plus q is equal to 40 p or p is equal to minus 88 plus q divided by 40 which comes out to be uh, minus 88 divided by 40 plus q divided by 40 or our p is equal to minus 88 divided by 40 comes out to be minus 2.2 .2, uh, plus uh, 1 divided by 40 is 0 0.025 q okay this is our old uh, demand function old supply function okay now supply curve after per unit tax of uh, rupees 1.05 what will happen to this supply curve when we impose uh, a per unit tax of 1.05 that means our new supply curve will uh, look like this this is our ordinal supply curve new supply curve would be equal to p is equal to minus 2.2 plus 0 0.025 q plus the per unit tax that is 1.05 this is the supply curve after the imposition of a per unit tax of 1.05 rupees okay so i will graphically also show here what we are being going to do this is our quantity axis this is our price axis this is our demand function this is our supply function okay uh, old equilibrium was at q is equal to 220 and price was 3.3 okay now when a per unit tax of 1.05 was imposed that means our uh, supply curve will shift uh, to the left that means our new supply curve would be like this this is the supply curve which we are talking about or we write here p is equal to now minus 2.2 plus 1.05 it comes out to be minus 1.15 plus 0 0.025 q okay that means this is our new supply function that is minus 1.15 uh, plus 0 0.025 q okay uh, imposing a per unit tax will shift the supply curve towards left now we have to find what is the equilibrium at this uh, point that is the intersection of the old demand function that is this very red and the new supply function after the imposition of tax that is this uh, uh, black uh, black line okay the intersection of these two will give us the new equilibrium price okay that means a uh, new equilibrium after per unit tax can be found by equating the old demand function this is our old demand function and the new supply function okay so at equilibrium or after after imposition of after imposition of per unit tax per unit tax equilibrium would be equilibrium occurs at the intersection of old demand curve old demand function should be equal to new supply function okay supply function our old demand function was this is our old demand function that is p is equal to 14.3 minus 0 0.05 q okay this is our old demand function and our new supply function is this that is p is equal to minus 1.15 plus 0 0.025 q okay uh, to find the new equilibrium price we will just uh, equate these two okay this is new supply curve okay supply curve now we will equate them that means we have 
14.3 minus 0 0.05 q should be equal to this that is minus 1.15 plus 0 0.025 q okay now what will happen we will just uh, uh, transpose the terms this will become 14.3 transposing this will become plus 1.15 should be equal to uh, 0.025 q and transposing this minus 0.05 q this will become plus 0.05 q okay i hope i am making myself clear where 14.3 plus 1.15 it comes out to be 15.45 i will write 15.45 should be equal to now uh, 0 0.025 q plus 0 .0, uh, 0 0.05 q it comes out to be 0. Uh, 0 0.075 q okay or solving for q we will get q is equal to 15.45 divided by 0 0.075 when we solve this comes out to be 206 that means new quantity uh, supplied or demanded would be equal to 206 i will write this is here 206 so this is our new equilibrium quantity 206 now to find the new equilibrium price we will put q is equal to 206 okay this value in either uh, this inverse demand function or in this uh, inverse supply function okay to get the equilibrium price so uh, it would be better to put here so our p is equal to 14.3 minus 0 0.05 the value of q is 206 into 206 or p is equal to 14.3 minus uh, 0 0.05 into 206 comes out to be 10.3 or our p is equal to 14.3 minus 10.3 comes out to be 4 that means our new equilibrium price would be 4 that means equilibrium price new that is after the imposition of per unit tax would be 4 okay this was the first part now to find the tax revenue to find the tax revenue tax revenue tax revenue is equal to is equal to tax rate tax rate times the quantity transacted uh, in the market what is the quant uh, quantity which is transacted in the market that is this quantity 200 seconds okay so our tax rate is given into quantity i will write quantity new okay tax rate was 1.05 times new quantity transacted that was 200 seconds this comes out to be 12 16.3 okay 1216.3 is the total tax revenue to the government after the imposition of tax okay and graphically we can also calculate uh, the area the area would be simple the area would be so we have to calculate that very area which is below this new equilibrium price okay and here on the old supply curve okay now what would be since us at the old supply curve uh, we have q is equal to 206 what would be here the price when the quantity supplied is 206 we can easily calculate from this demand function sorry this old supply function so since q is equal to 206 i will write 206 is equal to 88 minus 40p or uh, we can write a uh, 40 uh, p is equal to 206 minus 88 or p is equal to 206 minus 88 divided by 40 it will be equal to a uh, p is equal to 
206 minus 118 uh, sorry 88 is equal to 118 divided by 40 which comes out to be 2.95 okay that means here we have 2.95 okay now what would be the government revenue government revenue would be simply this green area so what is the area of this value uh, rectangle it is simply a uh, 4 minus uh, 2.1 uh, 2.95 which is 1.05 if you subtract 4 uh, 2.95 from 4 you will get 1.05 that means this is our rectangle it is uh, breadth is 1.05 and its length is 206 okay now area 2 uh, 206 into 1.05 would be equal to 1216.3 okay this is the government revenue which occurs after the imposition of a per unit tax of uh, rupees 1.05 i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you